All right, I was asked to play Dystopia Post-Human RPG. Yeah, someone con uh, the dev, dev contacted me through Gmail. Hmm. Anyways, it, it's supposed to have multiple endings, and I actually did try to play a little bit of it, but I can't, but the thing is I keep second guessing all my choices because you're not just choosing dialogue, you're also choosing which paths you take in these levels and of course there are a lot of one-way paths. So you may or may not pick the best one. In a way, this game I feel like this game is trying to be uh, like a roguelite. Oh, he's new game. Long ago, the Earth held a ruin. All caps ruin. Not just any ruin. The Earth itself turns to some kind of chibi demon. Demons had invaded. Humanity was on the brink of extinction. Humankind fought against an endless tide of demons. In the end, their struggle was futile. The demons eradicated humanity. Save for one. The hope for humanity rested with its last living human. The hero. In the final battle, the hero... Yes, the difficulty actually changes the entire backstory of the game. I'm not sure how I should feel about that. I usually like it better when difficulty isn't t uh, tied to story. It's kind of like how Lie of Kylum has Astral Mode and True Mode. Okay, Lost Horribly. It actually ma takes away... I think it, it, it actually makes your party smaller for some reason. Maybe the fourth slot was meant for the hero? Enemies have more stats and new moves. Red save ducks, which means one save only. Yikes. And all that on top of having a lot of branching story paths and multiple endings. Yes, there's no guide for this game either, so I'm probably going to get the most mediocre mid-ending possible. I'm not going to get any super special secret ending that reveals the grand truth of this world. I'm just going to get the most boring, like, went home and made coffee ending. That's the type of ending I'm going to get, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the hero has succumbed. They face difficult challenges and ultimately succumb to the darkness. The hero expired. Wait, are they saying the hero is the... Uh, the, the is the hero that guy on the cover? I don't know. With the help of priests of a dying religion, the group vowed to bring humanity back into a new world. They vowed to use the power of the Zodiacs, the same power that the demons used to tear humanity from its coil. These were the promises of the vessels. Your role in this is to aid in their quest. To assist the last beacon of hope in fulfilling their destiny and bringing humanity back from the dead. That is what you want to do, right? Yeah, that's where the story path comes in. It's possible I could also just side with the demons or something, huh? Stupid TV begging out again? You snooze, you lose. I'm already an old Zeta, trying to hold me back. Don't make me look bad in front of the treatise. Hey, aren't you Akira, the number one hunter? I'm not comfortable being called that. Mm, I get it. If something happens to me, you're number one. You look down, bud. Everything okay? Do I look upset? I should probably fix that. My old Zeta is not for a while. Here, I can I'll change the channel. Created by base. Oh, I really... Uh, I really wonder if I should just look up someone else's playthrough to try to figure it out, but even then... I'll, some people might have only just done their one playthrough too. Remember, in Prayer of the Faithless, the devs said not to worry about which ending uh, uh, you get, and that no ending is more canon than the other. Should I just... Uh, uh, should I take the same mentality for this game? Every ending is just as Kanan as the other. So even even then, in Prayer of the Faithless, there is an ending where objectively more people survive. The Resolve ending. All the other endings, at least one party member will die.
No, he looks different from the cru crucified hero. There's also very limited opportunities to save, just to make it make it so that your choices are even more irreversible. It's gonna be bad. Hmm, red. The red. Uh, there's some kind of red curse. Uh, uh, some kind of red structure there. So anyway, I work for Show Studios. They have me in ready set for a bit, but I just did a live editing. I hate the late night show, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Show's a terrible boss. Listen, if you're ever in Vulcan Night, I'll do a solid. I may take you up on that offer. That's my stop. It was nice to meet you. Uh name is Jasper. Later, Jasper. I wonder if I'll ever see them again. You Suddenly you have a, a, f a face. Does that mean you'll join the party or become an enemy? Oh yeah, one of the uh, uh, one of the announcements in the Steam page said that some people uh, who could join your party could end up as enemies if you make the wrong choice. And that you can't uh, save everyone. There's mutually exclusive uh, party members. Barbados should be up ahead. The demons ahead don't look too tough. One last job, then it's quick time for me. Two state blocks are red and green. They will either allow or block passage depending on which state they're currently in. Paths may be designed for one-way travel only, and not are, all are equal, so trust your gut and pick a route. Not all are equal, that's the problem. I'm gonna make all the wrong choices. Divine Federal? This one I I can at least get before committing to a choice. Hero's Bangle. I'm not sure if Hero's Bangle is that good though, since some of her- some skills do rely on luck to work. Luck is actually pretty important. For proccing ailments and such. So I can either go up or down, huh? Yeah, by pressing that I can... Flip... Uh, uh, the green and red blocks. So, uh Unfortunately, once I go through there's a mandatory switch that I cannot avoid. It's not like I can just jump in this game, either. That would be pr pretty nice, wouldn't it? I wonder if it'd be better to play on controller or not. Man, if only I could just jump! And then... So, you know, if I could jump, I wouldn't be able to jump over that anyways. I can go down ladders quicker, too. There's an invisible ladder here, but... Mm. Let's try the red path. Because well, during that cutscene, we saw that there was a red-looking... A, a, a structure that could serve as a bridge. I don't know if this is the correct choice. Yeah, red is tougher because of those spikes, huh? Basics. Each character in the unit has 4 MP. This is used for skills in the magic tab. You'll gain 1 MP every turn. Basic control. Gain more MP by using the attack or guard command. Skills with the refund tag will also grant MP upon defeating a foe. You can never run from battle, so pick your engagements wisely. But oftentimes I can't avoid a battle anyways. Anyways, Kunai Strike. I've, I I generated one hype, so I seem to have generated more MP than usual. I really cannot tell how much more you have. But Kunai Strike is listed as a weakness, so I might as well spam it. Exhaust 2 Hype. Follow up Agility versus Agility. I guess the follow-up is the second hit. Because uh, she's... Uh, because Akira is fast enough, she can get the second hit. Hmm. She has the same name as the protagonist of Gaia's Melody, huh? But she uses... Uh, ku uh, kunai's... Yes, Kunai and Shuriken rather than knives. Or, or, or a standard combat knife. Yeah, mutually exclusive stuff. Spikes hurt, so try not to step on them. Okay, so hold down shift. Ha! I made it. But I missed out on the treasure up top there, so that could be bad. However, it does give me access to the treasure on that bridge. 
The enemy you see there will heal you for 1 MP and 150 HP when you walk over them. Once you walk over them, they won't respond, so you can't come back and grab them again. The fact that I had to go over spikes means relatively more effort than the upper route, right? So does that mean that one, this should be more rewarding? Or am I just overthinking it? H-Nut. Health. Fenny Shard. Shards grant extra spells. Okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, so many mutually exclusive things. Second guessing. Ugh. I don't like being outnumbered. Since I have full MP, I can use the flash feature of Mend to instantly heal myself. Now use a kunai to finish this loser off. Okay, I still got the hype. And the Mend ensures that I will maintain some regen. I don't know if Fenny is actually good against these guys, though. Maybe I'll leave one dude alive and try to test it out. I, I managed to proc a small evasion chance. Okay, another turn. I think uh, maybe I think she got the extra turn because she finished off an enemy. I'm not sure. Anyway, so it's on cooldown, so this is my chance to test out Fenny. No, you're not weak to water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a kunai. Okay, leveled up. I get some stat boost, but I can also use stat boost from the skill learning menu later. Lifestone times five? It's le do lifestones only show up when you level up or something? Friendly ring. Okay, it gives me a starting barrier. Might be good for her. So, in, in case I get outnumbered again. Okay, these guys are weak to water. During battle, well, you and the enemy may obtain a condition known as hype. When you have hype, your gen character generates more MT. To get hype, you must do one of the following. Hit an enemy's weakness. Show next to their hit point. Get critical hit. Defeat an opponent. Hype continue. You can raise hype to level 3. For each level, you have bonus stats. Sometimes skills will have extra effects while hyped. Hype final. Beware. Your opponents can also generate hype as well. Opponents follow the same rules as you do, but keep in mind. Hype final final. The same rules for gaining hype also take away an opponent's hype and vice versa. Fenny is probably going to be the best move here. Or I could try to use Aqua Bolas in an attempt to finish one of you guys off. What? I... What was that? I actually went to attack because I, f I was so I thought holding it down would result in a second hit, but it was so powerful the first hit actually killed the enemy. Green squares extra MP show level hype. If you spend two turns in hype, you go down a level. If you meet multiple conditions, you gain that much hype. Hmm. Give me the barrier. I don't know how much barrier I have. Twenty-four. Okay. Okay. And a refund as well. I guess I got a bit, bit of MP for killing it. Battery suit. Okay, so was this worth it, though? I had to skip some other treasures by going through the bottom path. No, minus agility? Everything has a trade-off. Every piece of equipment. Dang it. I want to keep the luck up because luck is actually necessary for some of her skills to work. Yeah, this one. I have to have more luck in order to grant myself bubble shield and increase my survivability. It's about time you showed up. Barbados, my good friend, my pal, buddy. 
Akira, my co-worker. I appreciate you waiting for me. I thought you were all you snooze you lose. Whatever. You're making me wish I didn't. Detritus should be up ahead. Let's, like I said, don't slow me down. Gotcha. Join the party, okay. I'm not sure what I should do for you. I can't change your all of your equipment, which means he is probably gonna be a he's probably gonna leave my party at some point, huh? I just hope that party members leave permanently. They actually give me all their un un unequipable equipment, all the removable equipment. That is the duck. I finally said that safe ducks were going to be red only. Weird. Yeah, in this save, I actually went for the top path and did not get that extra armor. But that extra armor could be good on someone else. Still, I end up with the same amount of money. Huh. You have unassigned skill points. Let's fix that. He, he has a very simple skill tree in comparison to her, since she can upgrade all her stats. Maybe it's because she's the protag. Her wave. All he can really spend it on. This is not upgradable. Echo stones. Hmm. Gains FP at every level, and everyone else gains FP at every other level. Lifestone times six. Lifestones are kind of random. In my previous save, I did I got fewer lifestones. I actually have enough lifestones to actually learn another skill if I get if I upgrade one of her stat ba uh, stat passives enough. That me uh, exclamation mark means I have to talk to them. Question mark means I you need to accomplish something before they'll become passable again. Hmm. Ellipses you can talk to them for grass. That's basically it. Apostrophes are I uh, don't look for him. Is that a hint for some secret thing? How are you all looking for some wares? You're a demon, aren't you? Yeah, and why would you help us defeat other demons? I'm sorry, are mortals the only ones allowed to sell out their kind for profit? I mean, you're not wrong. I'm just curious is all. I go by Asterisk, don't worry. My days as an enemy are long gone, I just want to do business. Okay, Asterisk, what do you have for sale? Well, hello there, valued customer TM. How can I be of service today? You mortals always want to talk, talk, talk when you should be buying, buying, buying. How can I be of service today? Okay, I thought you had dialogue tree. Seasonal. Good choice. These items are stronger when it's the right time, but the right time might be air elements away. I don't bother putting seasonal items back after the holidays. Just know that they're significantly weaker if it's not the right season. Oh, well, if you find me, I always have them in stock. That's the asterisk guarantee. Yeah, these are not really worth getting. I don't. None of these are for the summer. Is this Steam stuff as a, a summer sale? You think that would uh, be a thing? Oh well. But regular stuff. Let's see what we have. Hmm. Basic armor. Luck. Hmm. Increase by number of skills learned. A D herb. Okay. It's a lot? Now, now Akira has a buddy, they can use their passive, Izuna. Akira has a 3% chance to pull up after an ally attacks. This works even better with skills that hit multiple people and skills that hit one target multiple times. Barbados is Fire Ren, which hits, fits the bill. Okay, first I should... Hmm, these guys have flames on their tails, does that mean they're weak to water? Fast! Holy crap! Why are they all gunning for her? All foes. The fire first it will increase all members' agility, and second it will increase the attack. Good, this is horrible. Is 
6 turn cooldown, but 5 MP. This guy has no weakness. Iron Fire. Power Wave is not instant, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting some regen, but man, this is really bad. Please be weak to water. Blinded. Not good. Assuming f that one, maybe Meteor Saber will be good. Okay, so Meteor Saber is effective against you. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Still some hype, okay. But my hit points are looking pretty bad. Leveled up. Attack went up. Okay, good. 1 FP, 0 FP. Oh, and 4 life stones. That's not enough for the next upgrade. Jump blocks and fall blocks may be activated by pressing up or down. Okay. There's actually a, you actually would have gotten your first jump or fall block if you had taken the upper path of the previous map. Oh, nuts. So I have to cross this path down here first. A safe point again, but no, it's blocked off. The switch to the right of this sign will open up a locked door. You just need to press it once and the door will open. Though you can keep pressing it for the funny sound, nothing will happen after the first time. Use the switch to get back to the shop. This sign is sponsored by Asterisk. Steampunk attire was found. So t going up here will allow me to get back to the uh, uh, shop. Fierce knife. All right, so going back here was a good idea, but, hmm. Can I strike? Wait, maximum upgrades? So I should not throw away my equipment so easily. There might be a way to upgrade them later. So many one-way paths, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna make a bet and say this path is the one I want. I actually don't know. But it feels like because I have to go through spikes, it might be more valuable. Barbados is a choice for a new skill to learn. Hmm. I'll pick Power Charge. I hope I made the right choice, damn it. Everyone has a very... I feel like the other characters have a different skill learning system than her, huh? Damn it, everything's all about choices. Adds exhaustion after a successful action. Oh, nuts. I didn't know about that part. So I could use this and then something like... Big Slam? 
Nice AT. Icy Profen. Akira has a choice. You have a choice too. Oh. War Shield for all allies and Grand Refresh. Here's negative ailments for all allies. If enemies. Oh, which is the best choice? Damn it. This kind of does two things at once, huh? And there's a lot of enemies that are weak to war, so maybe Aqua Rend? One more? Hmm. I don't know what that opened up. The pink number above your hit point battle is your barrier. Before you take any chemical damage, you'll deplete your barrier first. Okay, good to know. A G key ring. Tacos. Nice AT. Have a question about status effects? Your local duck can answer them in the glossary section. Each status is tied to an element. For instance, fire gives burning, poison gives wall poison, psychic gives headache, etc. Okay, it just wants me to have a good time. I'm guessing a boss will come up soon. What? Is that a boss? Hello there. Hello, Ocarina Barbados. It's a pleasure to have the chance to interact with both of you. The treatise. The treatise. Hey, buddy, long time no see. It was earlier in th this morning, which is not typically considered a significant amount of time. I'm pleased to have you both this on this mission. I look forward to slaying this Zodiac creature with you. Or, yes, sir. You got it. The treatise joined the party. Okay. Bigger enemy parties to compensate, huh? Hmm. Now guard so that the next turn is a little less brutal. Silenced. Why are they all going after him? I thought the treatise had more aggro, whatever. Mend. Okay, Aqua Rend. Slight barrier. Okay, now we have an advantage. Test out different types on you, huh? Repose day. Whoa, that killed you in one hit. All right, leveled up. What the? I see, it's an invisible railing I can use to get to the chest. Dire Fire Ball. Okay, that did something. I see, I can use this to cross here. 
and grab this chest. Aqua Spinner. Echo Stone. Echo Stones are used to upgrade Aqua skills. Check the skill learn menu to learn more. I see. Minus MP cost. That seems like a really good one for Aqua Bolas. No. If I have to deal with ailments, Mend would be better. Go on this side, but it's no point. Wait! I can climb across here to get treasure! Seven mil was as your account? Nice. Sh short ticket was found. What does that do? Carts allow you to roll for shards of your local gotcha machine. The closest one is Zeta City. The city, okay. Oh, keys open doors, but you didn't need me to tell you that. The door in question will say key on it. Expend one of your keys to open the door. They only work once. The treatise has a skill. Garnery Stone deals t damage two to four times. Scales off defense. Demise. Deals damage all foes twice. Binary Stone. Got the key. Use key? Yes. 75. Dot Destroyer. Health Nut. Damn it. The red enemy looks really strong. Large harm. Oh, more. Okay. It's a red save point. Honestly, I may want to. S Can I even backtrack at this point? I'm missing an enemy because I didn't flip the switches correctly. I know I can make my way back if I look real hard, though. Okay, let's flip the switch and see what it's like on the other side. I have no idea what I'm freaking doing. Oh crap, there's a red enemy. Red demons are stronger than normal. Oh crap. Good thing I saved. But there's it's the only way to get that treasure. UF Glow? Hmm. Spyglass. Reveal- Only one weakness was revealed?! You're fucking shitting me! Oh my god, how many turns does this dude have? You're kidding me, only one weakness is revealed by one item? That's a shit. that's the shittiest yellow I've ever seen. If I guard, then I ha- hmm. It has so many turns compared to- Oh my goodness. This is terrible, actually. I'm stunned, so a lot of my skills are just completely whiffing. What? I killed it! The heck? Just using the riposte while guarding was enough to destroy you? I don't understand what happened, but I'll take it. You have glow sticks. Taco 4-pack? That's it? That's all I got? Man. I was expecting bigger uh, rewards. But that thing... Uh, ugh. 
That was insanely strong. A one use save. Do you want to save? Red ducks can only save once. There's no way to return. Couldn't even give me a free heal uh, uh, healing point right before the boss, huh? The Archdemon approaches! Let's do this! And all- oh no, they're all buffed! Not cool. Okay, so they're probably using war type stuff, huh? That's probably why they had a war type accessory that I forgot to equip. Binary stone. That did not hit well. Nuts. One down. Maybe better for you to use a regular attack to nuke the, to get rid of the shield. I can't believe it. They're just going after him only. Ugh. There's no way I can kill with this kind of healing. Hmm. Wave slash. Stop gap. No damage. Ugh. Post is on a one turn cooldown, so if I guard now, I can do some big damage next turn. A barrier. Damn it. This guy knows our elemental weaknesses. But it's not like I can even put the water accessory on Barbados anyways, because his equipment is locked for some reason. Okay. Kunai strike. He's weak to Kunai. Meteors! Honestly, guard. Magic. 
since I solved the guard status. Mm, riposte. Ugh. Kunai is the best one, though, to gather up hype while reducing his own hype. But I wanted to get stopgap as well, but man, the cooldowns are ridiculous in this game. Like, most battles will be. Uh, I think this guy will be dead before I get that cooldown. Ugh. Resist! Vanguard could be good. Probably just eat a health nut. Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Got barrier again. No more barrier for you. Kunai. Damn it, only one. He's faster than me, that's why. But he lost all his buffs, so I think it's only a matter of time before I uh, claim the victory. I want to take away some of your hype. Okay. Hmm. Vengeance. Yes! Revenge is mine! That was just the first freaking level, too. Love experience. Nice. Awakening Stone, Life Stone, Shark Bite Shard. Mission accomplished. Good work, team. That's what an archdemon is like. Phew, trash. I believe Fire will be happy to know we have acquired another Zodiac Stone. Let's take the train back and call it... Uh, call it. Thanks for hanging out with me on my last mission, guys. So it's true that you'll leave the Hunters Association. You should be pretty happy about that, huh? We should head back to Zeta as soon as possible. Good idea. You obtained the Zodiac Stone, peace says. Can I revisit old Zeta to, in order if I want to fight that uh, uh, some stuff again? That was just the first level. Brutal. One Archdemon killed. This is where we part. I look forward to what Firehouse has to say about our next mission, Barbados. I guess we'll see y'all later. Alright, Kira, it's been a pleasure working with you. Barbados and Detritus have left your party. Oh no. Detrius had some of my gear, though. 
Not much of it, but some. Anyways, now would probably be a good time to save. Golden Duck kills you to fall. Us regular ducks will only give you the privilege of saving your game. I'm sorry you found out th th this way. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Dystopia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.